Hello students, welcome to the EPG Part Shala. I am Dr. Harinder Pal Singh Kalra from Punjabi University, Patiala. Today, I am going to talk about the module Marketing of Academic Library Products and Services from the paper Academic Libraries. The objective of this lesson is to introduce the concept of marketing to the students of library and information science and to explain the context in which the concept of marketing can be applied to academic library information centers, products and services. Specifically, this includes study of the concept of marketing, functions of marketing, elements of marketing, marketing mix, market segmentation, creating of market plan, etc. Therefore, the concept of marketing is not a single act or process, but a complex phenomenon aimed at creating a value for the end users and other stakeholders of a product or service through activities including communication. The concept of marketing its constituents is expressed in terms of any number of P's, which was earlier 4 and is now 7, and it revolves around the product to be marketed. In fact, the first of the P's in the 4 P's of marketing is the product. But with the growth of services sector across the globe in the last few decades, particularly the last quarter of 20th century, the concept of services marketing has gained prominence. In this lesson, we will be discussing later the P's in the context of academic libraries. Marketing need for the library. On their face, the terms marketing and library do not fit together. Old school thinking might be that the library service, particularly in academic libraries, is just as essential a service in the academic setting as the formal lecture is and therefore needs no marketing or advertising. In this sense, yes, we do not need our libraries to market or advertise themselves or their services. But we are not talking of marketing in a traditional sense. The marketing need as emphasized by Ross and Matthews in 2009 book is not marketing to but marketing through the services to the users. Knowing the users, to market the products and services of libraries, the library and the librarians must know who are going to be their users or customers. This is the foremost requirement. Also needed alongside the user is to know about their information use requirements. The subject of use and user studies is therefore an important component of studies in library and information science. What do we mean when we say knowing about the users? What is it that college or university students, the largest segment of academic library, use the uh, largest segment of academic library users use the library for? Matthews lists some activities of students' use of the library, albeit in a typical American library setting. Nevertheless, same or similar activities can also be there for students and researchers in libraries in developing countries like India. And the difference, if any, can be of degree of use for a certain purpose than the other. And some of the activities, typical activities listed by Matthews are waiting for a friend, checking email, watching YouTube videos, burning a CD, playing Yahoo games, recharging an iPod, grabbing lunch, printing out boarding passes, taking a nap, photocopying flyers. As he emphasizes, these kinds of activities don't make into the programs and plans of libraries nor do they fit into the mission or vision statements and the quality policies of the typical academic library. 
while the library and the librarians strive for nobler pursuits such as building collections or providing information literacy programs library users live in a different world for them the library is merely one of the stops along the way of a very busy day in which they constantly juggle complex social personal professional and academic responsibilities if the academic library has to play a meaningful role in their lives the library and librarians have to communicate with them then the library and librarians will have to find a, find out how can the library fit within their lifestyle it is for this purpose that the library needs to market its resources and services to their users so an academic library has to offer its services to its users that are traditionally segmented as undergraduate students postgraduate students researchers faculty staff and others but the role of segmentation is not merely to group users by their broad category and design services and frame rules accordingly but also to identify which groups of users use which library services and why so as to develop systems programs and strategies to increase user interaction of those segments of users from all such broad categories named above that the li- that use the library very less or even not at all or in other words the potential users market segmentation in an academic library students would f- naturally form the largest group of or segment of users but to effectively communicate with all its users libraries need to focus on varied segments of users in the words of matthews instead of pattern let's try a more accurate label such as customer user audience group class community member segment student professor faculty staff member donor or alumni to some librarians customer is a dirty word it somehow belittles what we do but in all honesty it is the customer supplier relationship that best describes the transactions of a typical academic library we offer them a product or a service and they in turn choose to use it or not if user segmentation the market for the library is segmented and programs are developed to turn potential users into voracious readers then the marketing activity of library is a total success for the segment that is already using the library services to the most special incentives and benefits that relate directly to their academic activities in the college or the university can be of immense value in marketing a library through its users in fact a library can market its services better by providing customized and personalized services for each segment of library users marketing in the common usage is commonly associated with selling while technically it is not so while the process of selling refers to an exchange of products for their value generally in the terms of money the concept of marketing has evolved from one oriented towards production methods quality of the product selling methods needs and wants of the users that is customers to a holistic marketing concept if i put it in this way according to american marketing association it is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large this is the definition of the american library marketing association for the year 2007 the term marketing mix was first coined by neil borden the president of the american marketing association in 
the marketing mix is a business tool used in marketing and by marketeers and is used widely across sectors and disciplines including in libraries which provide library and information services where not only the four p's are used but three additional p's of service marketing are also used in marketing one of the concepts is marketing mix and this is traditionally explained in terms of four p's these are called four p's of marketing and these are product promotion price and place now product refers to generally the physical product that is the thing physical thing that is being marketed the tangible thing however in case of information services there is no physical product only the physical product is the container in which information is contained promotion refers to how to promote a product price the cost plus something at which a product is sold to the users or customers and place where a product is provided that is distribution in a world where the focus is increasingly being put on the customer the four p's are reworded to form the SIVA model or the SIVA model which is nothing but a new terminology focused towards the customer as shown in the diagram that is product is the solution promotion is information price is value and place or distribution is access in case of marketing of services that is not physical products but services there are three other unique p's in addition to the four p's and these three p's are people process and physical evidence so together the seven p's of service service marketing include product promotion price place people process and physical evidence service can be heterogeneous and perishable in which the aspects of production and use or consumption are merged together and are inseparable access to library services to a user being one such example of this kind a user is offered access to user library and some or all of its specific services that can be availed by visiting the library personally in this case the user is free to browse the collection use specific services such as reading room and typographic services access to digital content ex- held by the library online content accessed by taking the help of library staff circulation etc some of the common product inventory types that a library offers include resources commonly books and periodicals and also specialized resources resources are the backbone of the product a library offers users are generally not aware of the variety or depth of resources that their academic library holds or can provide access to through interlibrary loan services or other cooperative activities a library wants its users to know what it has must offer the keys to its resources that is the catalogs of all its collections to its users the catalogs lists and other metadata resources must be updated 
and be in such a form that they are easily understood to users. Staff support in locating resources is a corollary to the resources. But if these are provided, the resources of a library as a product would attract even more number of users through word of mouth as users would share their positive experiences with their colleagues. Similarly, a resource located in a catalog but untraced in the shelves and elsewhere would also bring a negative image in the mind of the users unless a satisfactory reason for its not being traced such as circulated, sent for binding or otherwise in use elsewhere is offered to the users. Another is space. Space is one of the best features that libraries have to offer. Collaborative workspaces are increasingly more prominent in modern library, modern study environments, along with other features of academic libraries such as computer labs and comfortable seating areas that are also becoming common. Libraries should market its study and other areas in such a way as to best serve the purposes for which various students and other users, as discussed above, use their library for. Another is cyberspace. Aside from the physical environment of the library, one should also take into account online and cyber environment. With a large number of transactions and information occurring online, Libraries' cyberspace is also a key location for awareness of products as well as of the delivery of services as much as are possible in a library. This includes library websites and other academic websites such as course management systems. Libraries in the countries of less developed world may not have highly developed web presence for delivery of services, though many libraries are experimenting with social media and web 2.0. But it is also, but it also must be kept in mind while using Web 2.0 tools that libraries and librarians do not fall prey to misleading jargon of Library 2.0, 3.0, etc. While using Web 2.0 tools and techniques, another is support. The reference desk, though not as popular or common in the libraries in India as it is in the West, is an iconic symbol and perhaps one of the most defining service attribute of a library, besides other points such as circulation and periodicals. In each of such areas, libraries can serve and market themselves as products if the staff offers more than just what is needed by library for that area or section, for example, circulation. A library has to provide users with integrated academic support services and research help, such as assistance with writing assignments and projects. Another area in case of products is equipment. Academic libraries, particularly university libraries and large college libraries are now beginning to offer a wide range of equipment and in developed countries even supplies. If we think of all the tangible objects that can be found in the building other than collections from furniture and computers to printers, scanners and photocopiers, then it becomes clear that the technology plays a large role in higher education and libraries serve this need by providing technology products and services for access within its premises. Another area of, for products is experiences. The concept of experiences is more abstract than the previous product categories. This pertains to personal emotions and memories associated with using the library. At a basic level, if we imagine the feelings of our students while they use all the different sections or parts of the library and how library and its facilities and services help him or her for the purpose for which the user comes to the library. By viewing each library interaction with the user as an engagement opportunity, library staff members can use such opportunities to make users gain exposure to the full range of products that a library makes available for them. Another P is price. It is very difficult to assign cost to various factors associated with services and therefore putting a price to services is a tough job than doing it for goods. In case of tangible goods, pricing can be easily done by calculating the cost of its inputs or raw materials. In the case of services, several other costs such as 
those associated with labor and overhead also need to be considered. Many libraries, particularly academic libraries, generally charge a non-refundable like annual fee for use of the library from its users. Place. In case of services, the service delivery is many a times but not necessarily concurrent with its production and cannot be stored or transported. In such cases, the location of the service product is important. Service providers have to give special thought to where, when and how a particular service is to be provided. In case of library services, where a user is to be provided access to the collection and some or all specific services that a user can avail by visiting the library personally and those that can that can't be provided to the user at his or her desktop. The service delivery is concurrent with production. Some services such as access to OPAC, reservation facility for a book, current awareness services, etc. can be provided to the user at his or her desktop via the internet or intranets, which a user can avail from either the comfort of his or, home, his or her home or any other convenient location outside the library. Another P is Promotion. This refers to advertising one or more services a particular organization provides. This is needed because a service offering can be easily duplicated. Promotion helps in differentiating a service offering from others in the minds of users or consumers. Thus, service providers offering identical services heavily invest in advertising their services. Library services that are generally provided at a particular place are not generally advertised because in the system of libraries and their information services, particularly in developing countries like India, is one based on cooperation rather than competition. The mechanism of a user approaching several libraries is generally not the norm. The final three elements of the services marketing mix include people, processes and physical evidence and are unique to marketing of services. People are a defining factor in the service delivery process since the service is inseparable from the person providing it. This also follows from the corollary of the fourth law of library science, save the time of the user as save the time of the staff. No wonder that many service providing institutions including libraries are focusing on people manning the organizations and investing in their training. If the library staff is trained and it undertakes activities to understand its users in a better way, then there are more chances of increased user activity in the library and their better communication with the library staff to meet their information needs. Process The process of service delivery is crucial since it ensures that the same standard of service is provided time and again to the users or customers. It also means that users are served with information in as less time as possible. If we extrapolate the fourth law of library science and the meaning of reference service as a personalized service as given by Ranganathan, it becomes clear that the user is the focus of services offered by the library and all processes of service delivery must conform to the highest professional standards to achieve efficiency and effectiveness in services. This can then be a strong marketing point for the library that it offers the services of high quality in the least possible time. Physical evidence. Since services are intangible in nature, many service providers try to add some tangible elements into their service offerings so that the customer experience is enhanced and value is added. A bibliography in a neatly printed and bound packaged form is one such example. Although in the electronic form, when information can easily be provided to users in electronic form, this may not be needed. But wherever the physical or tangible element is there, library can innovate the market itself. Bookmarks giving information about the library can be given alongside books being circulated is one such example. Now I am going to discuss about activities and tools of marketing. There is no single activity or process which alone can help market the library among its users, both actual users as well as potential users. Rather, an integrative and 
positive approach has to be followed by the academic library as a whole, including all its sections, departments, divisions, units in making the library reach each of its users. Some of the activities a library can undertake are bring a regular newsletter or bulletin with the students, other segments of users on its editorial board, prepare leaflets, brochures, flyers giving useful information about the library and its services and display these prominently within the library and in the academic institution. Develop a web page of information about the services available via the library and how can one avail these services including timings, special permissions, charges if any, etc. for each service to be used given clearly on the web page. Develop a web page or blog where users can interact online with the staff as well as with other users. User feedback is of utmost importance in developing new services. These days, users are using social media sites heavily. One can develop a social media site for the library for this purpose. Library can organize events like online information searching, literary events, book clubs, lectures by faculty and alumni of the institution, etc and other services, other activities where library is not only the platform but also the central place around which activities get organized. The library can organize book exhibitions on current topics as well as on special events. Libraries can use SMS services on mobile phones as the mobile phone has shown a very high penetration among all users, especially the youth. Use of this tool for reminding overdue books or for other services can have a positive impact on library services. Libraries can use email for communicating with the users and if possible for providing ask a librarian services to begin with only on working days and times and can be expanded as per the resources available. Libraries can develop and display staff lists, names and contact details prominently within the library and elsewhere for giving users the feeling of personalized services. So students, let us now summarize what we have learnt in this module. Marketing as a complex of activities and processes that add value to the services that an academic library provides to its users is of immense value in modern librarianship. In the modern era, library users are relying more on the internet as well as on sources other than library services. To bring back users to the library or to make them use the full spectrum of services that libraries offer, even if they are remote, remotely located from the library, Applying marketing concept using the seven P's of services marketing, knowing the users and market segmentation tools and using all these to create a marketing plan for the library is the need of the R for a modern academic library. It is for the individual library to develop a marketing plan for its users on its own or develop one in collaboration with other libraries with which it has partnerships or collaborative arrangements through library consortia or library networks. Thank you.